Now, the Obama administration may intervene in a civil lawsuit in which 11 American families won a potential billion-dollar judgment from Palestinian leaders. There was a series of bombings and shootings that killed and wounded a dozen U.S. citizens. They went to court, sued the Palestinians, and won a big settlement. The White House may intervene in that settlement. Looks like they're siding with the terrorists over our citizens in America. Joining us, Jeff Balabon. He lobbied for the families in this case. Say it ain't so, Jeff. The president well, may intervene against American citizens and for Palestinian leaders? It is absolutely so. And really, is it any surprise, given where this administration is going? But why is he doing this? What, what, what's, mm. the, what's the deal? Well, this deal is to prop up the Palestinian Authority. Look, the Palestinian Authority, which the world is beginning to treat like a state and America wants to treat like a state, is just another name for the PLO. It's a terrorist organization. They're directly responsible for this. And the White House, this White House, doesn't want it to be seen that this Palestinian Authority is not a partner for peace. It's a terror group. Because this White House supports the alternative to, to this, the Palestinian leadership, they support Hamas. And, and the alternative is Hamas, right? Well, look, they support Hamas, they support the PLO. Uh, I was actually meeting with uh, some f senior Egyptian officials, and they were beside themselves with this Obama administration and who it is they're supporting. They feel they're supporting the Muslim Brotherhood that is Hamas. Let me backtrack a little. Mm. A series of bombings and shootings. The Palestinian leadership is sued by the victims, American citizens. Uh, the American citizens win, what is it, a billion dollar judgment, something like that? Well, it's $655,500,000, but with interest, etc., it's, it's a little over a billion, actually. Okay, so in comes President Obama and says, wait a minute, wait a minute, wait a minute, there's something wrong with this issue. We're not, we are supporting the Palestinians, we're not supporting American uh, civilians. That's what happened? Well, that's what it looks like right now. So the settlement has been held up? It won't be paid? Well, until there's a deadline of August 10th by which the administration has to intervene. And what we're hearing now is that the Justice Department and the State Department are going to intervene to set aside this judgment. Because right now what they've done is they've tried to attach the money and have money come in over a certain amount every month. And they're saying, we're going to put a stop to that right now because it could break the PLO's bank. Was this an, Ameri an American court that made this settlement? Absolutely. New York. And the federal court in New York. And the president proposes to step into a federal court situation in New York City and say, no, we're not having that? It's a federal, it was a jury trial. You know, Congress passes laws for a reason. These laws were passed because American citizens have to be protected abroad. And yes, it looks like America may be siding with the terrorists. That's an extraordinary thing. I yes. didn't know they could it's actually insane. step into I, a federal court. I, I didn't know that either. Yeah. Step into a, a jury what? awarded verdict or just like that? What's the likelihood of them getting the money even if the president didn't step in? If the president didn't step in, there'd be some appeals, but they're going to win. I mean, they've already won this. It's been going on for years. The victims a, are going to win. The victims are going to win. That's it was right. a jury trial. It was a jury trial. That's Jeff, in, in previous uh, episodes on this program, you've uh, frequently commented on the Iran nuke deal. Yes. We know you don't like it. <laughs> no. What, give us an update, please. Well, I think it's a done deal. It sounds like a done deal. And, you know, I, I don't know if you've seen the latest polls show that Americans in general are two to one against the deal. It's mm. 58 to, uh, 57 to 28 as of this morning's polling, which is good news. The question is, will Congress be able to push back against this president? Really, that means will the Democrats push back against this president? Really, what it means is, how about Senator Schumer? Where does Senator Schumer stand on this? And really, it's, it's already weeks late for him to be out there. He should be leading the charge. The fact that they're struggling to get Senator Schumer on board shows this is a real failure. He should be out there. He and a bunch of others who claim to be the protectors of the U.S.-Israel relationship should be leading the charge against this as opposed to just siding with their party no matter what. One more issue. The Ayatollah Khomeini, the Supreme Leader, Ayatollah Ali Khomeini, Supreme Leader, he's published a new book explaining how to wipe out Israel. We just made a deal, a nuke deal with Iran. You can't be happy about this. <laughs> no, not at all. Let me just say <laughs> one thing. People, you know, people try to make this about Israel. And I want to say something just as an American. You know, the Iranians have the 2,000-kilometer missiles, which means they've got Israel. They have the 5,000-kilometer missiles, which means they have Europe. Now they're in the market for 12,000-kilometer missiles. That's not just the eastern seaboard. That's not just Washington, New York, and Miami, and Philly. That's Cleveland and Chicago and St. Louis. That's what they're in the market for. And this deal gives them the bomb. It doesn't stop it. It says in 10 years you'll get it. How can this administration sell this deal with what the Ayatollah has just said? How can they sell this deal to the uh, America's Jewish community? Well, they can't, but it's, you know, it's politics, politics, politics. It's all about the yes, party. Yes, but they have sold it quite successfully. American Jews are probably not going to vote against this in overwhelming numbers, are they? 
Listen, here's the bottom line. The American Jewish community is, is not, got, it can't be the center of the issue here. I'm a Jew, but I'm also an American. And as I say, they're looking for missiles, not just for Israel and not just from New York where I live, but they're looking for half of the United States of America. This is an American issue. And Kerry already said, Kerry warned the Jews. He said, if you oppose this and it goes down, Israel will be blamed and the Jews will be blamed. That's very frightening. Uh, Awful. Uh, Jeff Balabon, thank you very much for joining. Thank Always you. Always appreciate it, sir. Thank you.